बिस्मिल्लाम अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ प्लांट जोन इन दिस चैनल यू कैन इजीली कैट द इंफॉर्मेशन व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू प्लांट्स एंड देयर डाइवर्सिटी थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग माय टूडेज वीडियो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड लाइक एंड शेयर एज वेल Today's topic of my video is about four kingdom classification system. So let's start the video. First of all, I will discuss about the history of classification system. Many schemes of classifying the living organisms were proposed and were improved from time to time. Kingdom is the second highest rank below the rank domain kingdoms are divided into smaller groups which are called phyla the hierarchy of classification goes as domain kingdom phylum class order family genus and species this is called a taxonomic rank and the last two names genus and species form the biological nomenclature next i am going to discuss about the introduction of four kingdom classification system the development of microscopy revealed important distinctions between those organisms whose cells do not have a distinct nucleus which are called prokaryotes and organisms whose cells do have a distinct nucleus which are called eukaryotes in 1937 edward charton introduced the terms prokaryote and eukaryote to differentiate these organisms in 1938 hobbit f copeland proposed a four kingdom classification by creating the novel kingdom munera of prokaryotic organisms as a revised phylum munera of the protista it included organisms now classified as bacteria and archaea ernst haeckel in his 1904 book which is called the wonders of life had placed the blue green algae which is also called as phycochromacea in monera this would gradually gain acceptance and the blue green algae would became classified as bacteria in the phylum which is called cyanobacteria in the 1960s roja stenier and cb1 neo promoted and popularized Edward Charton's earlier work particularly in their paper of 1962 the concept of a bacterium this created for the first time a rank above kingdom a super kingdom or empire with a two empire system of prokaryotes and eukaryotes the two empire system would later be expanded to the three domain system of archaea bacteria and eukaryota next i am going to discuss about the four kingdom system of classification copeland in 1956 an american taxonomist suggested that all the prokaryotes for example bacteria cyanobacteria etc be placed under kingdom munera which is also called mycota according to copeland the four kingdoms are munera which is also called mycota protista plantae and animalia protista are single celled eukaryotic organisms fungi continue to remain with plants the main drawback of this system is that the fungi are not properly placed 
Four Kingdom classification proposed by the Copeland in 1956. So he divided the living organisms into the four kingdoms, which are Monera, which includes prokaryotic organisms, Protista, which includes primitive eukaryotic plants, Metaphyta, which includes advanced eukaryotic animals. And the next is the Metazoa, which includes advanced eukaryotic organisms. Next, I am going to discuss further about the four kingdom systems, which is also called Copeland's concept. Although the three kingdom system of Heichel provided logical solution for the inconsistencies of two kingdom system, it couldn't remain unchallenged. With the discovery of electron microscope by the Noll and Ruska in 1932 and further improvements in it with the developments and associated proprietive techniques for biological materials it became possible to examine the structure of cell with very high degree of resolution. This led to the recognition of profoundly important dichotomy in the internal architecture of the cells of existing protists. It was found that cells of less complex protists do not have a membrane-bound nucleus and also lack membrane-bound organelles. Contrary to it, the more complex protists possess true nucleus and membrane-bound organelles like those of plants and animals. The former category was called prokaryotes. So the pro means without and crean Crean means nucleus and later as eukaryotes so the u means true and crean means nucleus. So this is the difference between the prokaryotes and eukaryotes. First of all I will discuss eukaryotes and then I will discuss prokaryotes. So eukaryotes size range large 10 to power 4 to 10 to power 5 micrometer cell wall present in plants only mostly cellulose and hemicellulose and pectate green plants chitinous fungi third is nucleus membrane bound fourth is nucleus present fifth is dna mostly in the linear chromosomes and nucleus in mitochondria chloroplasts sixth dna packaging histones package dna into nucleosomes seventh membrane bound systems chloroplasts mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum lysosomes Golgi bodies, etc. 8. Plasma membrane, phospholipids, sterols, proteins may form vesicles or microvilli in animals only. 9. Ribosomes, 80 subunit type. 10. Cilia and flagella. 9 plus 2 system powered by adenosine triphosphate. 11. Organization extensive developed tissue system except some algae and fungi. Next, I am going to discuss about prokaryotes. Size small 1 to 10 micrometer. Second, cell wall. Present in all prokaryotes except mycoplasmas. Third, nucleus. 
nuclear membrane present fourth nucleus absent fifth dna mostly in the form of a single loop attached to the plasma membrane in plasmids sixth dna packaging no histones seventh membrane bound systems none plasma membrane may fold to trap the photosynthetic pigments if present eighth plasma membrane phospholipids and proteins sterols absent no vesicles no microvilli ninth ribosomes 70 subunit type tenth cilia and flagella absent in cyanobacteria bacterial flagella superficially resemble monobular made up of unique protein which is called flagellin powered by hydrogen ion pumps 11th organization unicells or short chain of similar cells this newly recognized line of demarcation run through kingdom protista which was subjected to a division into two groups the low protist including all the prokaryotic protists for example bacteria and blue green algae and the high protist including all the eukaryotic protists for example algae other than blue green fungi and protozoa on account of this clear cut division of protists Copland in 1959 came forward with a four kingdom system to classify the living beings. He created a new kingdom Monera to accommodate lower protists, for example the prokaryotic protists, for example bacteria and blue green algae and retained the higher protists, for example the eukaryotic protists which include algae. other than blue green fungi and protozoa under the kingdom protist but he called this kingdom as protoctista the kingdoms plantae and animalia remained as such but the terms plantae and animalia were replaced by metaphyta and metazoa respectively thus the four kingdoms of copland were monera protoctista metaphyta and metazoa the living beings are divided into the four kingdoms so the first kingdom includes the lower protists which are also called as prokaryotic protists these are included into the kingdom monera so the kingdom monera includes bacteria and blue green algae On the other hand the second kingdom includes higher protists higher protists or eukaryotic protists are included into the kingdom protoctista protoctista includes algae micro and macro both fungi micro and macro both and protozoa and the third kingdom includes plants which are eukaryotic are included into the kingdom metaphyta so metaphyta includes bryophytes tridophytes gymnosperms and angiosperms on the other hand the fourth kingdom which includes animals which are eukaryotic are included into the kingdom metazoa and the metazoa includes in what breeds and what breeds as shown into the figure according to this system the microbes spread into two kingdoms the bacteria and blue green algae cyanobacteria in kingdom monera and microalgae microfungi and protozoa in kingdom protoctista thus the microorganisms came to be recognized as monerans and protoctistans neither plants nor animals next time going to discuss about the four kingdom classification scheme 
invention and development of microscope led to the differentiation between organisms with no distinct nucleus prokaryotes and those with a well defined nucleus eukaryotes based on this distinction robert copland in 1938 proposed a four kingdom classification with kingdom monera to include the organisms with the indistinct nucleus in 1960s a concept of super kingdom or empire was proposed by the roja stenior and cb1 neo two empires such as prokaryota and eukaryota were proposed by them and this laid the basis for the three domain schemes of classification so life is divided into the two empires which are empire prokaryota prokaryota includes monera and the empire eukaryota the empire eukaryota is divided into the three kingdoms which are protista planti and animalia so in figure this is the four kingdom classification scheme which is proposed by the roja stenior and cb1 neo as shown in the figure so if you like my video please subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon as well for further notifications thanks for watching thank you so much